let's take a look at our rain timeline. We did have some showers this morning, and if you were in our weather column, weather on print or online, I did mention the possibility for this, even though I didn't mention it in the morning video. But we'll have off and on showers heavy at times through midnight, and then for the later half of our overnight hours, midnight to 4 or 5 a.m., heavy rain with thunderstorms could even see some damaging wind gusts. A low possibility for that, though. And then from 4 or 5 a.m. to about 9 a.m., we're off and on with our showers, but it does look like it ends at 9 a.m. This morning, I was saying more midday or early afternoon, but new data has come in, and it does look like this should be a mostly dry day for our Wednesday. We're not going to rule out the damaging wind gusts between 12 to 5 a.m., as we said, but the flooded roadways will be of bigger concern. We'll look for isolated areas of roadway flooding. We still have all these clouds we need to work through before we get to some sunshine. And with this stationary front here, it's not moving that fast. That's why we're going to be pretty cloudy for our next 24 hours. We're also going to be pretty warm and humid. We have all of this southerly air out ahead of the stationary front. That's why temperatures are seasonable, yes, but very sticky at that. We have cool air to our west, and that will make for a pretty comfortably cool weekend here in South Jersey. But again, with these southerly winds, we are going to see high precipitable waters value. This tells our weather story, even though we don't talk about this a lot, this is important. So precipitable waters is pretty much how much moisture is in a column of air. Put in other words, if you wrung out all of the moisture in the atmosphere, wrung it out and measured it up, this is what you would get. Anything over two inches means there is a high potential for tropical downpours. Now, looking at our nearest weather balloon site where we would get some of this data that you're seeing here in the corner, well, this shows that we're twice the average and we're pretty darn close to the daily max for late September. So we are talking about a very, very humid air mass for this time of year. And it shows with our future radar. We see some rain here for the afternoon hours. And then as we go into 6 p.m. and then 8 p.m., we get a little bit on the drier side before this slug of rain moves through during the second half of the overnight hours. Now we're showing you 6 a.m., 8 a.m., 10 a.m., and we are dry in South Jersey. Our rainfall totals will generally be between one to two inches of rain. And also generally, the further west you are, the less rain you see. So Stowe Creek's at 0.7, Hamilton's at 1.6, Barnegat Light is at 1.2. That's why we can see localized areas of roadway flooding. We'll be in the mid 70s this afternoon, periods of rain, not a washout. And as we look at our daytime planner, you see most outdoor activities at least has the potential to be okay. I think you'll definitely have enough time for a half hour or an hour jog. All these other activities are dependent on how wet your ground can be to at least have something like a soccer practice go forward or whether or not the rain will impact any kind of construction you're doing. For tonight, we'll see temperatures in the mid to upper 60s. You'll want the air conditioner on again. It will be quite sticky out. First half of the overnight hours, just off and on showers. Second half, it's a downright soaker. Now, if we weren't talking about the rain, we would be talking about the low, low, low potential that we could see Aurora tonight. It, we will definitely see it in southern Canada as well as even uh, North Dakota and into Minnesota. For here, we're just north of this green line, and that's the maximum theoretical extent of the Aurora. You would have to be on top of Ocean Casino Resort looking north on a clear sky to maybe see it there. So for all intents and purposes, we probably wouldn't see it even if it was clear out. We'll see rain showers for the first couple of hours of Wednesday. Then we clear out pretty quick. We should actually be sunny and quite seasonable for our Wednesday with a little bit of a northwesterly breeze. And as we look at our mainland seven day forecast, 72 on Thursday, Friday, we'll see morning rain give way to afternoon sunshine. And then our weekend looks dry. I'll step out for the shore seven day. And it does look like Saturday and Sunday are both seasonable, good sweater weather, and also very nice to leave the windows opened at night. We'll be back with you at 6.30 this afternoon. We'll talk more about this rain to come. You can follow me on social media for the latest, or you can always come back to our website at thepressofac.com slash weather.